six years ago and my background was actually in sponsorship and marketing and PR and finally I decided that I've been in the service industry for so long that I wanted a product of my own and a natural progression seemed to be, at the time I wrote um, for a lot of magazines, so a natural progression seemed to, do, to be to do a book. I didn't know anything about the publishing industry at all. In fact, the extent of my knowledge was a one-day self-publishing workshop and a one-day publishing workshop. But what I quickly realized was that I had the marketing acumen to carry off the, the publishing side. So I self-published my first book, Happiness Is. The reason I did Happiness Is, ironically, and I only talk about this now, is because I was actually so unhappy at the time, and don't we always teach what we need to learn the most? In the first 12 months we sold 36,000 and in Australia a bestseller is 5,000 and it's gone on to, to do quite a lot more since then. So yeah, it's been quite an exciting success story. Initially it was because I was really passionate about Charity Kids Helpline and I wanted to test the market and really test my own marketing skills across multiple platforms. But because a bestseller is 5,000 in Australia and primarily they're distributed through bookstores, it felt very, very, very limiting. And because my background was sponsorship, I used to do sponsorship for the Wiggles and Cirque du Soleil and lots of other fun properties like that. I decided that why not pre-sell it like a sponsorship property and actually disseminate it out to a number of different organisations. So I pre-sold to Macquarie Bank and Mercedes and then we did deals with Clinique. So it actually opened up the market a whole lot more than just traditional bookstore distribution. Most bookstores actually take between one and three copies of an unpublished author initially. And places like Waters in Bondi Junction might have 350,000 titles in there at any given time. That's not copies of books, but actual you know, titles of books. So to kind of break through the clutter, we developed a completely different model. So many companies use kind of inanimate objects like golf umbrellas and coffee mugs and squeeze balls. And I just thought, you know, if you can create a beautiful book such as Happiness Is um, to use as a premium or incentive or gift or reward, it's something that doesn't necessarily need to cost the corporation much more than, you know, a squeegee ball would. But it's actually something that can inspire and motivate and, you know, tick a whole lot of boxes and drive their objectives. So that's what really excites me and I guess that's really where my passion is. So it was just a matter of finding the right fit. So there seemed to be an obvious synergy. Happiness is has 300 Australians and 65 photographers, and um, clinic at the time their whole objective and, and key drivers were about you know reaching out to um, the same demographic and you know displaying the value of the Australian. And so their perfume retailed for $130, I think, and the book retailed for say $35. So it's quite a good incentive we purchased because you know there's an obvious fit from a brand synergy, and um, to, to spend $130 and get something worth $35 really helped to drive the sales. So they were thrilled. I was thrilled because they put full page ads in Body and Soul, a new idea, and Sunday Life, and then with you know the cover of the book, which I could never have afforded to do. So that was fantastic brand synergy from my perspective. And then they put it on the counter in Maya and David Jones. So it gave it a much, much bigger presence as a self-published author at the time and really achieved objectives. We did another deal with Officeworks and that was a really simple deal. I don't know about everyone who's listening out there, but I am, um, you know, we got the Officeworks catalogues every week or however often and uh, and on it it would say spend $250 with Officeworks and get a free yoga mat and all sorts of other incentives and I kind of, I'd actually written another book, my second book was called Cubicle Commando which is a business book and I saw a really good fit with, with Officeworks and I sent them, I, I just literally picked up the phone, made a cold call and says who, who orders the, um, the incentives and they put me straight through and I said look have you considered doing a book and they said well not to date so I put a copy of Cubicle Commando in the mail to them and also a copy of Happiness Is just to say thanks for even considering it and she rang me literally two days later and said a whole mandate is to surprise and delight um, the PAs who are ordering the stationery and we love Happiness Is, it fits really well, can we have 8,000 copies and I thought well fantastic, um, although I didn't express my excitement and I thought oh yeah this is just something that happens every day. So that was great, you know they were able to buy it 
It was on its third print run, so they were able to buy it at a highly discounted rate. It was something like 75% discount, but my only fixed costs at the time were the print bill, because everything else had been covered in the first couple of, in the first run. And, and so it was a win-win situation for both. We made a couple of dollars per book. They, they had a great incentive, so a very successful campaign. This is a really exciting model and there's certainly a huge opportunity for other people to go out and do this themselves. We help individuals and corporates to produce books as marketing tools for themselves. So you can visit our website www.themessengergroup.com.au and that gives a lot more information about how to approach us and we've got a whole array of services to help there.